Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, November 17th, the 23rd week after Pentecost and week 6 in the Psalm cycle. Add the scripture for this service, Psalm 89, verse 30 to 52, and James chapter 2, verse 14 to 26. And please join me in singing verse 6 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. O oh, bless our God and never cease, you saints fulfill God's praise, who keeps our life, maintains our peace, and guides our doubtful ways. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. If his children forsake my law, then I will punish their transgression with the rod. Alleluia. Psalm 89. And please recite together with me. Alleluia, if his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then I will punish their transgressions with the rod and their iniquity with the lash. But my mercy I will not take from them, nor let my faithfulness fail. My covenant I will not break, nor alter my word. I've sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. His dynasty shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever as the moon, and as a faithful witness in the heaven. But you have cast off and rejected your anointed. You have become angry with him. You have made void the covenant of your servant. You have profaned his crown casting it to the ground. You have broken down his walls. You have brought his strongholds to ruins. All that pass by the way despoil him. He is the scorn of his neighbors. You have strengthened the right hand of his foes. You have made his enemies rejoice. You have turned back the edge of his sword and have not held him up in battle. You have ended his glory and cast his throne down to the ground. The days of his youth you have shortened. You have covered him with shame. How long, O oh God, will you hide yourself forever? Will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. How frail have you made all flesh? Who can live and not see death? Who can deliver himself? from the hand of the grave. Where is your loving kindness of old, which you swore to David in your truth? Remember how they taught me, how I bear in my bosom the scorn of the mighty, the taunts of your enemies most high, that they have hurled at the heels of your anointed. Blessed are you forevermore. Amen and amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, 
as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. If his children forsake my law, then I will punish their transgression with the rod. Alleluia. A lesson from the letter of James, chapter 2, beginning at verse 14. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but do not have works? Can faith save you? If a brother or sister is naked and lacks food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm, eat your fill, and yet you do not supply their bodily needs, what is the good of that? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I, by my works, will show you my faith. You believe that God is one, you do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. Do you want to be shown, you senseless person, that faith apart from works is barren? Was not our ancestor Abraham justified by works when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see, that faith was active along with his works, and faith was brought to completion by the works. Thus the scripture was fulfilled that says Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see that a person is justified by works, and not by faith alone. Likewise was not Rahab the prostitute also justified by works when she welcomed the messengers and sent them out by another road? For just as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is also dead. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, hear our prayer. We thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day. And we thank you for all the blessings that you have granted us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive our sins and offenses that your light may show forth from us. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who seek you, tender God, especially Kathy, Joe, Denise, Michael, Mitch, Lincoln, Germani, and Paul, that they may find and be found. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. That your will may be done in all that we undertake, to the benefit of our families and friends, the church, and all people. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Rejoicing in the fellowship of you and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all of your intentions. <clears throat> O oh God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's sing together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O beloved God, remember us, the children of your servants of old. Guide us in your statutes, and do not punish us for our transgressions. Help us to bless you forever and walk in the way of your judgments. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Alleluia, O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal Word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.